All right, so we're back in the BMW here. We're gonna do the injector calibration. Um, you're gonna have to put the car in accessory power. So there you go, turn it on. And turn the AC off. And we are gonna be using a Altel Max Assist to perform this. Uh, you will either need a laptop with software or you're gonna need a decent scanner to do this. Your average uh, AutoZone scanner is not gonna program injectors for BMW. All right, so we're gonna go ahead over here and select service. Then we are gonna select injector. It's gonna to wanna to know what type of injector. We're gonna go ahead and hit BMW. Automatic selection. Oh, we're going to tap read and acquire the VIN. Give it a second. Otherwise, we'll have to manually input it. Yep, that's the VIN. We'll hit OK. BMW 535 N55 F10. It's correct. Yes. And then, so we after hitting hot function, we want to go ahead and select injection quantity compensation. And this is where we're going to enter the new flow numbers for the injectors we installed. All that number stamped on the side of the injector is, is that's its flow rating from the factory. So we're going to tell the computer what cylinder has what injector with what flow rating, and then we'll program it and she should be good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. This is what it read from the previous injector, cylinder one's 241. Uh, the new injector in cil cylinder one is actually 230, so we need to hit continue. Are the adjustment values to be read out for replaced engine control? That's gonna be no. We're using the same engine control. So we want to go ahead and hit F4, enter new adjustment values, and then we'll save adjustment values. Let's go ahead, F4. Which cylinder is the new value to be entered? We're going to start with cylinder one. One, enter. Okay, and we are going to be putting in 230. 230. Enter. Okay. Mm 
Yes. Cylinder two. Enter. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm a one man show here. I wish the angle could be better. 258 is gonna be the injector sequence. 258. Flow rate, okay. And you can see it's got the new values on the left and the old values on the right. We'll go ahead and say yes. Cylinder three, enter, okay. Cylinder three is gonna be 209, enter, okay. Cylinder four, enter, okay. Cylinder four is gonna be 245, enter, okay. Yes. Cylinder five is gonna be, enter, okay. Cylinder five is gonna be 254. 254. Then cylinder six. is going to be 306 well that's a high one well i guess if bosch says it's okay it's okay okay so we got i'm going to go double check we got 306 on cylinder six we have 254 on cylinder five 245 on cylinder four 209 on cylinder three 258 on cylinder two and 230 on cylinder one. Okay, awesome. Are there other values to be entered? And that's gonna be no. Okay. And then after that, we wanna go ahead and do F3 save adjustment values. Yes. All right, so we saved the values. We'll go ahead, you can read out the adjustment again with F2. Okay, we can see what it says. There we go, there's our current readout. It saved everything, hit continue. Uh, I'll actually go back. Okay, there we go. All right, so we saved it, we read it out, it's correct. We'll go ahead, hit escape. And procedure. Okay. Then we will go ahead and go back to the menu. And go to diagnose. Uh, then we'll go to BMW. Actually, we'll just go to check engine. Standalone diagnostic. Auto scan, Let's see what we got. We're gonna scan the car, clear the codes out of it, and then we're gonna start it and check for leaks. So now we've entered the new fuel flow values to the injectors, we're gonna give it a scan, and then we'll do a leak check at the end, and then we're done. Okay, uh, we want DTC feed. Diagnostic trouble codes, what do you have in here, BMW? No fault codes found. Excellent. That's rare to see on a BMW. Escape. Escape. All right, we will go ahead. I will open the garage door and then we will go ahead and leak check this bad boy. Okay guys, we're back. Injectors are calibrated. There's no trouble codes in the computer. We're going to go ahead and crank this thing. Keep in mind, it's going to be a little longer to start because we cleared the fuel line, so it's got to purge air from the system. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now we want to go ahead and check for leaks. Direct injectors are very loud, so this is a pretty standard noise they're making right now. Of course you can't even see the injectors at the back. But all the bee nuts are tight. They are, we're not getting any fuel leaks up here. All right, boys. We put the engine cover back on and that is a successful install of an injector replacement on a 2011 BMW N55.